channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Lizelle and for today's video, I am doing a tutorial on this look right here. When I sat down, I didn't really know what I wanted to film, to be honest, but I knew that I wanted to do something that was versatile for both summer and winter because down here in Australia, it's currently winter, but I know up in the Northern Hemisphere, where a lot of my subscribers are from, you guys are in summer. So I kind of have to do looks that can cater to both. And I just feel like with this look right here, it's giving me very like summer vibes, giving me that like sunset vibe, but it's also dark enough to be like nice and vampy for the winter time because you guys know me, I love my warm neutrals. So no matter the time of the year, I'm always going to be down with the warm neutrals. If you wanted to make it more dark and vampy for the winter time, you could go with a darker lip color, but you guys know me. I love my nudes, so naturally I went for a nude lip. But anyway, before I get into the video, I just wanted to give one of you guys a quick shout out. I wanna start doing shout outs before my videos if that makes sense. So shout out to Ray Davison. You were actually first to comment on my previous video. I will leave your comment right here. If you guys want to be a part of my next video, leave your comments down below and I will pick one or a few. We'll see how this goes to put into my next video. But with that being said, if you guys do enjoy this tutorial, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also if you're new, you know what to do. Join the crew by hitting the little red subscribe button down below as well as the notification bell so you can stay updated with all the videos that I post. And with that being said, I think that's everything I need to say. Yeah, so let's get into it. So you guys know the deal by now. I am going to get started today with the face. I'm firstly going to prime using the Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Pro Filter Primer. As you guys can see, I'm just applying that to my face using the Real Techniques Stippling Brush. Just making sure that it is all nicely blended and even all over my face. Now for foundation today, I'm gonna to be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. My shade is Golden Beige. You guys who have been watching me for a while know that this is one of my favorite foundations ever. And it's drugstore and it's super inexpensive. So it's like a win-win all around. As you guys can see, I've just applied that all over my face and I'm using a dampened Miracle Complexion Sponge by Real Techniques to blend that into the skin. Alrighty, now that I have my foundation on, I'm gonna go ahead and color correct. So today I'm using the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector, and I'm just taking that on the Models Prefer Airbrush Concealer Brush, just patting a bit of it onto the darkness that is underneath my eyes. And as you can see, this is just gonna help brighten up that area a little more and hopefully make me look less tired. Now for concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I used this in my last tutorial and it triggered me. Like I remembered how much I love it. So this one is in the shade Light. It's super easy to use. I think that's why I like it so much because you just twist it, get the product out. So I'm just going in and applying that to all the usual areas and then once again using the damp and Miracle Complexion Sponge to blend it all in. Just quickly, I'm gonna go ahead and do some quick cream contouring. I don't know why, but lately I've really been into that. I don't do it on an everyday basis because it is a lot to deal with. But every time I sit down to film a tutorial, I'm like, yep, I want a cream contour. So this is what I'm using today. This is the Maybelline Fit Me foundation stick. It's not a contour stick. It's actually a foundation stick. So this one is in the shade number 330 Toffee Caramel, but it blends really nicely on the skin. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that to all the usual areas that I like to contour, like the hollows of my cheeks, around my hairline, my jaw. I am also going to go ahead and contour my nose with this as well. To blend all of that cream contour into my skin, I'm using the Real Techniques Sculpting Brush, and I'm pretty much just working at it until I feel like it is nicely blended and seamless. All right, now that all that is done, I am going to go ahead and set the concealer. I'm using the Australis Ready, Set, Go Finishing Powder in True Translucent, and I'm just using the Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush to pat that underneath my eyes, as well as all the other the places where I applied that concealer earlier. You might have noticed that I didn't set the rest of my face that I applied foundation to with powder, just because I feel like with that foundation, you don't always need to, which is surprising because I do have really oily skin, but I am going to go in with bronzer now. So I'm using the Benefit Hula Bronzer and to apply that over all the areas that I like to bronze, I have the Sigma F40 Large Angled Contour Brush. So just running that over my cheekbones, around my temples, hairline, that kind of thing, just to give me a really nice Nice blended sun-kissed glow. So now that we are up close, you guys already know that that means I'm gonna get started on the eyes. So for this look today, I am going to be pulling out and using shadows from, it's been a while since I've used this, the Morphe 350 palette. Let's just take a moment to take those in. All the warm 
shades that I love. Before I dig into that though, I need to prime my lids because you can see all my little freckles poking through. So I'm gonna go in with the NYX eyeshadow base in skin tone. I'm just using the Zoeva 142 Concealer Buffer Brush to apply that all over my lids, right up to my brows, just getting a really nice, smooth, opaque canvas to work with. And I am going to set it in place with some more of that translucent setting powder. So now that my eyes are prepped and ready to go, I am going to go into the palette. And I think the first shade that I wanna take is gonna be this one right here. So I'm taking that on the Zoeva 221 Luxe Soft Crease Brush. I'm gonna go ahead and run that through my crease. This is gonna be my initial transitional crease shade. As you can see, I'm just running that back and forth through my crease, blending it as I go and building it up to the intensity that I want it to be. I'm also gonna go ahead and run that same shade along my bottom lash line as well. I'm using the Zoeva 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush. And as you can see, I'm really just blending and smoking this out along that bottom lash line. So next up, I'm gonna go ahead and define the crease even further by taking this shade right here, pretty much next door to the first shade I used. This time I'm using the Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush. And once again, you know the drill, I'm just running that through the same areas that I did with that first shade, but I'm not going to smoke it out as far as I did with that first shade. And then again, I am going along my bottom lash line with that same shade. I'm using the same brush that I used previously, the Zoeva 230 Luxe Pencil Brush. And I'm just gonna go ahead and run that shadow right along the bottom lash line. So that's all good, my eyes are looking like a, a sunset right now and I'm really into it but I'm gonna go ahead and apply where is she the shade right here so I'm taking that on the Zoeva 232 Luxe Classic Shader and I'm going to start by applying this all over my lids and then working it up towards the crease to blend into those other shades. Now I'm sure you guys are aware that it is a little more difficult to blend matte eyeshadows as opposed to shimmery eyeshadows. And you may find that with matte shadows they tend to get a little bit patchy looking, but honestly, the key is to just keep blending. Like there's nothing else you can do but blend until the patchiness goes away. So now that I have the shadow on my lids for the most part, it's looking quite harsh because I haven't blended that top edge. So what I like to do at this point is just go back in with the previous brushes that I used to apply the shadows to my crease. And once again, just blend. That's all I spend the most of my time doing when it comes to putting eyeshadow on. I swear I spend like 20 minutes per tutorial just blending, but I have to cut so much of the blending process out. Otherwise it would be a very long video, but you guys know the drill, just blend, blend, blend until you feel like it looks seamless. Once again, I'm gonna take that same lid shade on this brush again, and I'm running that along my bottom lash line and connecting it up to the outer corner of the eyes. As I'm applying this shadow though, I am keeping it really tight along my bottom lash line. I thought I wasn't gonna want to do this, but I kind of want to add a little bit of definition to the outer corners of my eyes. So, um, 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 I wanna take this shade right here, directly underneath the shade that I just used. This time though, I'm going in with the Zoeva 227 Luxe Soft Definer. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this to the outer corners of my eyes, pulling it in towards the center, but really concentrating it on that outer third. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight the inner corners of my eyes, as well as my brow bone. I'm going to be taking this shadow up top right here, and I'm using the Zoeva 238 Luxe Precise Shader. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that to those areas, get them nice and highlighted and pop in. Next up, I'm just giving my lashes a quick curl and then going in with mascara. Today I'm using the L'Oreal Paradise Ecstatic Mascara. So you guys already know that I am going to be applying falsies. Today I'm using these ones from House of Lashes in the style Boudoir. They are pretty dramatic, but I feel like with a look like this, where the shadow is just basically one color on the lid, dramatic lashes kind of enhance that and make it look darker, which is what I want for this look. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply these. I'm just using some Revlon Lash Adhesive to do so. So now that the eyes are done, I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my face. First up, I'm gonna apply some blush. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 hour blush in exposed. I'm just applying that to the apples of my cheeks with the Real Techniques blush brush, slightly pulling it back towards my ear. This blush is pretty neutral in color, so I feel like it goes with pretty much every single look that I do. 
Now for highlighter, you guys know that I am a highlighter kind of gal. So I'm pulling out this one today. This is from Laura Geller. This is their highlighter in Gilded Honey. And I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills A23 highlighter brush to apply that to the tops of my cheekbones, as well as a little bit on my nose and just any other areas that I like to apply some highlight. Now for lips, you can go either dark or light with this kind of look I feel, but for me, you already know I'm gonna go with the nude lip today. So I'm firstly gonna line them with the MAC lip liner in Strip Down. Now for my actual lip color today, I'm gonna to be using this one from Maybelline in number 728 Honey Beige. This is from their Color Sensational range. Once again, it's a nude. You guys should know me by now. I'm all about my nudes. And then just to lighten that up a little bit, I'm going to be going in with the Dose of Colors lip gloss in Undressed. I'm going to start by focusing this in the center of my lips just to make them look a little more plump and also to lighten the color of the lipstick. So that's pretty much everything you guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're still here at the end watching and you are not yet subscribed to my channel, don't forget to hit the little red button down below before you go so you don't miss any more videos that I post. As always, I will leave a list of everything I used throughout this video down in the description box below as well as all of the links to my social media accounts. So if you guys want to keep updated with me outside of YouTube, all that good stuff is down below. With that being said, I hope you guys are having a fabulous week. I will talk to you in the comments and I'll see you all in my next video. Can you keep